Welcome back to Redoku again. I'm just gonna shut my mouth. Because I'm not smart. This mall is located in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, not surprisingly. The mall was opened in 1975 and fully closed in 2005. So, objectively, there's a lot going on in this image. The bottom half contains a pretty standard looking mall. The top half is just this jarbled mess of lines, colors, and numbers. And supposedly, at one point, it was even functional. Something else is mentioned the fact there's a wet water sign. As if there are no people around, what would be the need for this? Who put it there? And why is it still here? Things like this really make me question the universe of things and go, Hey, why are there a bunch of trash cans spread right across the floor? They must have had some sort of problem with the pipes or the roof, or perhaps there's um, something to do with this monster. Sorry, I forgot I was recording. Also, the same as does contain from the rail I'm so sorry, guys. Such as the palm trees and the table covers. No space left. Obviously, I'm dumb. This was, of course, before YouTube and really any video streaming or sharing sites. Oh my god. Dumb ads again. No, I won't play. I won't play old trash game. I won't play, no. Yeah, I was really close. I was actually very close. Let's move on. Yep. That's a, a dumb person move right there. Like That's the a dumb person move. That's a dumb another dumb person move. That is a dumb person move. Look, look at how do you, how are you supposed to do this? As for now, it still remains open. Alright, let's just re restart again. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, let's restart. Stop! Stop! And to my surprise, it still remains open. That is, um, a meaning to stop showing me these ads. I'm allergic to ads, okay? The image works great as a little more space, however. The designs in the walls for the floor are confusing. The draws in the looker leading them into a black void. Well-known internet artist Trevor Henderson, who is known for creating Siren Head, actually even used this image for one of his creatures due to its disturbing nature. This small one also be another great dead mall to explore, as it's been around even earlier than the other ones, and continues to do so. I believe it's because the town and community actually care about the small. Countless reviews I read online talk about people who grew up here and still believe the food and drinks are great. This respect for the mall Finally. dates back to 1989 in a commercial for the mall. Why do you come to Washington Square Mall? Well, my wife is always down here. I come over sometimes to get my work clothes. I even get my tools here. A lot of times I just get a soft drink, sit back, listen to the kids in the food court, and it's just real nice here. Seventy-five percent. Let's go. Well done. Yay! What? Okay, it's that game again. Bye. All right. We're back. Level two now. So if you're part of that 10%, thank you. Big shout to those who know who they are. There's definitely a variety of people that come to mind when I think of those who stick it out to the end and show me the extra support. So just 
thank you again. It's crazy to me that uh, I actually hit 500 subscribers. I know in the past I've mentioned that these things give me, they give me motivation, but, but honestly it does. It shows me a lot of potential for a far off dream, and it's really nice to see. Thanks again for being patient with the videos as well. Um, times are crazy for me right now, and it can be difficult to stay motivated. I don't really have anything else to say, so as always, thank you for watching, and take care. So right now I'll be playing until it's my bedtime because I have nothing else to do than just make videos. Oh my gosh. Stop it. Stop it. You know you're actually not going to get cash from a dumb game. You know that, right? Like, nobody's that dumb enough to know that. To to actually think that that is going to give you money. <coughs> I'm allergic to, to fake ads. Because it's everywhere. This word, this purple man, everything in between is the work of computer generated images. Regardless of the benefits or defaults, CGI has found itself as an essential, unanimous part of media production. Which is kind of funny, because just a few Oh my god. That's a dumb person move. Alright. Let's go that. Then that. That. No. This and I could get another two by two. CGI has actually been around for quite a while. In the 50s, analog computers could graph out patterns and lines. By the 60s, we would have wireframe demos, morphing of images. For some reason, I keep hearing a bunch of hopping around. Alright. Finally. Alright. This is why. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Take a screenshot right now. Wait, take a screenshot. No, wait. Um, let me do something. Let me do something, guys. In love. In wait, what the heck? Wait. Ah, uh, I guess you don't need to take a screenshot. You really don't. <coughs> I'm allergic to everything. You got to tell me that. Oh no. Now let's just restart. Cars were quite popular in 80s CGI, but for the 70s, this is astounding. 
It's a very empty space. You can tell where the world begins and ends, but that's of course in most early CGI. By the late 70s, we would start to see the earliest short films using three-dimensional polygons. Here is 1978's On and Off at the Circus. <laughs> Disturbing. The circus, the clown, the way this bear floats around. Computing physics in an animation like this wasn't going to happen. A lot of these researchers weren't traditional animators. Computer background. The heck? Connected. Oh, I have I think I know what to do. I think I know what to do. Let's get something. Let's just put everything right there. the same year Voyager 2 encounters Jupiter has aged much better. Having a background of stars was ideal in early CGI. You don't need to worry about rendering more objects. It gives much needed spatial context, and you don't have a black void. Also, having a setting of space makes the lighting a bit more realistic since you only need to account for one light source, the sun. Even with slightly janky animation, the camera moves well, and this is a top-tier demo for the 70s. By the end of the decade, it's the first great collected those two. Produced, the complete angler. It's a bona fide classic. I was so close. Oh my god. Fractions and reflections. At the end, we get this into the courtyard. And we get water. Things were moving pretty fast, at least the way I understood. <coughs> allergic to doing dumb person moves. I knew it! I knew it! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Alright, part two coming out tomorrow.